I just saw this headline and it grabbed my attention straight away. Yeah. This is an interesting title. Friday the 13th villain, Jason Voorhees, is set to appear in more games. Now, if you guys weren't keeping up with this, Jason Voorhees is in legal hell. No one can figure out who fucking owns the rights or any shit like that. The I Friday do. the 13th game had to be shut down because yeah. no one fucking knew. There's these people over here that want to make some movie, but they can't. And you got these people over here that want to make a game and they can't. Jason Voorhees has yet to appear in Dead by Daylight. Yeah, because yeah, of all and, this and fucking shit. And, and, and you want to hear the real kicker? Guess what the rumor is? They're what? going the Tomb Raider route. It's all going to be connected. So the game's going to... Because you, you know how they're doing what, that Friday TV the 13th? show? Yep, you, you know how they're doing the oh. TV show? It's going to be connected to the show and Some stuff like that. Some wild metaverse that shit. Then, then, oh my god. I don't know. That's, uh, that's the rumor going around. That could work for like insane. maybe Freddy. Yeah, that works way better for Freddy. Yeah. yeah. I've been guarding my gate for a long time, bitch. Yeah, that makes more sense. Can you imagine oh. fucking Jason X comes down? Ooh. Yeah, okay. dude, Jason X! The video Jason. game! Uh-oh. <laughs> First thing that comes to my mind for this is, like, Voorhees, you don't have to turn on the red light, man. Guys! It's okay, he just wanted his machete back! A new enterprise called Jason Universe has been set up in an attempt to break the Friday the 13th villain to the modern era for a variety of new projects and appearances. So Jason Universe will run in collaboration with the Friday the 13th screenwriter, okay, who owns domestic rights to the original movie. The Friday, sorry, the Jason Universe Facebook page, Jesus Christ, describes it as a new era for Friday the 13th franchise. Stay tuned for news on fresh entertainment, games, experiences, merch! And more, starring everyone's favorite hockey mask wearing villain. The Jason Universe site, and yes, we are going to bring that up, uh, currently has a link to its social media accounts and a form to sign up for its newsletter, but no further information on future Jason appearances. Its Twitter account, however, is currently only one following, and that account on social media platform, which is Fortnite. Jason Universe, baby! Let's go! Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry, can we just talk about how shit a name... It sounds like a fucking kid show. Yes. I have a bad feeling about this. I have an awful feeling. Because <laughs> you you're, you're telling me, you're like telling shit. me that Jason's going to be in Fortnite before he's in Dead by Daylight? What yeah. a fucking shit marketing strategy. Bro, they have gold right in front of them. They have Dead by Daylight, one of the biggest horror games ever. So they go to a kid's game for horror. To promote their horror game, they're going to fucking go to Fortnite. Their, their, yep. their new horror universe, sorry. You know the people who just see it once a year and then never care about it yeah yeah and i mean like okay this is where i i have so many arguments with fortnite people i really don't get it like fortnite's for kids jason sure as shit is not for kids no um, he did, he's for the he's for all the children he's for the hood uh, yeah. But I mean, like, I understand there will be kids. Obviously, I saw fucking Jason when I was a kid. Most people did. Mm. But wouldn't, like, Epic be looking at that, being like, hey, we got to keep our shit kid friendly? No, this you know why? He's known for, like, cutting bitches' heads off. You know why? They're doing it for the parents of the kids. Yeah. They put in people that children would not know, but it's for the parents. So if it's like, oh, I'll pick up a skin for the kid, and I play it with my kid all the time, I'll pick up one for me, and it'll be like, oh, that's cool, you know? So what, instead of a, of a fucking pickaxe, he's gonna use his machete, and we gotta yeah, have Jason, wait. you gotta have Jason hitting the gritty yeah. on Kratos. Doesn't, doesn't, um, yeah, it makes Hall sense. doesn't, what's his name, the Halloween yeah. dude, use his knife to mine? Yeah. Oh, Michael Myers. Fuck, yeah. it's Michael Myers. Oh, yeah, oh. Michael yeah, yeah, Myers. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, man. one thing about this, too, is that over the last couple of, like, maybe about a decade and a half now, it's, the, the people seem to be trying to, like, even though, yeah, it's Jason's for adults, slasher films a little more for the adults, but it's mostly the teenagers that were into that shit. And it seems like over the last couple of years, there people are trying to like blur or remove the lines between kid stuff and teenager stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm not a fan and I'm a of little that. more, you know, trying to get the kids more mature yeah. faster and like seeing a little crazier shit. I've seen my fair share of shit as a kid. I was I was fucking yeah. three years old when I watched Eraser. If anybody's seen that scene, oh, oh Jesus, fuck okay. moment. yeah. And for war and uh, like war movies, six, seven, eight years old, that was my jam. But you know, 
I still understood where the lines were about that stuff, and I always had a parent around me when I was watching that stuff. But holy moly! Yeah, I used like to watch that. Joke it, Park it as a kid. Yeah, no this is up in the head. The other thing too is that a lot of these freaky people that are like into these slashers, Ben, and they're pushing these slashers. They they seem to relate to these slasher characters far. Not you. No, you're normal. No, yeah, you're good. You know, the freaky, the freaky, uh, freaky genotypes. <laughs> They seem to be very re more related to these. As I drank from my Joker coffee cup. <laughs> You're normal. <laughs> but they, see, they, they seem to be wanting to push the these characters onto children and more and more young younger audiences. Yeah, like kids would watch the movies, but at least it was in the Halloween movie. It's not like they back in the day they were adding muck and muck. Yeah, you had to go bucket. looking for it, man. You had to go out yeah, your exactly. way to find it. And yeah. and it was probably only on once a year. Yeah. It was Very probably much. on yeah. Yeah. during Halloween, and so you either were staying up way too late, or you were past the age of trick-or-treating, and by that point, I would say something like the original Halloween is appropriate for, like, a 13-year-old to watch. Oh, yeah. Right? That's that's fine. I, I, I watched it before though. then, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's okay. Like... Yeah. But, oh, they yeah. do this with, I... uh... They do this with, a uh, even, like, kids stuff they have like a kid show and then they put in jokes for the adults but like it seems like nowadays the jokes are kind of like Shit. less like inside joke for the adults and more like yeah. here's a really dirty joke for the adults yeah. so less, gonna be like, what's a less, subli trombone? less subliminal and, uh, and, and kids catch it easier than they do before and we them oh, before like, i think everyone sure. can remember watching shrek with their parents and their parents laughing at parts that you weren't laughing at and then, yep. and then you go back and watch it, and you're like, yeah, I get it now. Hey, <laughs> well, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, the main thing I'm pissed about is that you have Dead by Daylight right there, but you choose Fortnite. Yes, Fortnite has more yeah. players, but which one are gonna be the ones who actually fucking know your shit and go, oh, what, there's a new Jason show? Dead by Daylight! And, and now we, we have Jason uh, and all those other guys in the one game. It's just so much cooler. Like, I don't understand adding him to Fortnite. I think it's a bad business move. I don't think any kid, right, is going to go, oh, Jason, let's go watch the new show now. I don't think any kid's going to do that. I, no, I, no. Unless they're, like, it, super into horror, right? And that's um, because their parents are probably watching that stuff with them. 